Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Paul. Once again, thank you for taking some time this evening to watch our videos and visiting our channel. We always invite you to visit our website at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net. Tonight, I want to talk a few minutes about Tyclopidin and Clopidogrel. Both of them are antiplatelet agents. First of all, as a, a sort of a introduction, let me talk about antiplatelet agents. You remember antiplatelet agents, they are of three kinds. Some of them, they just change the prostaglandin metabolism. For example, thromboxane A2, it's involved in prostaglandin metabolism. And inhibiting thromboxin A2, you can actually change the shape of platelets and make them less amenable for aggregation. The most common example is aspirin. It inhibits thromboxin A2. So it changes the shape of platelets and stops their aggregation. So aspirin is the example for those kinds of antiplatelet agents that actually works by inhibiting the prostaglandin synthesis. Secondly, the agents that change ADA receptor activity. You see, over the surface of platelets, we see the ADA, ADP receptors. And these ADP receptors, they act in the clumping of uh, platelets. By inhibiting these ADP receptors, some of these drugs act. For example, the both of the drugs I have mentioned, Tyclopidin and Clopidogrel. So both of these are very, very famous drugs. And thirdly, the drugs that block glycoprotein 2B by 3A receptors like uh, tirofibon or eptifibatid or apsigzumab. So those are the those three are examples for 2B by 3A receptor blocking antiplatelet agents. But for tonight I want let us confine ourselves to clopidogrel and uh, ticlopidin. Ticlopidin, as I said, both Remember both of them together, that would be easy for you to remember their mechanism of action. They reduce platelet aggregation by inhibiting ADP pathway of platelets. And uh, they actually irreversibly block ADP receptors on platelets. Now aspirin, it has effects on prostaglandin metabolism, but clopidogrel and ticlopidin they do not have any effect on prostaglandin metabolism. Now, these medications are extensively used in a transient ischemic attacks, in complete strokes, in the prevention of thrombosis in patients who are undertaking a coronary stent. So those are the main uses for these drugs. Even in uh, patients with unstable angina pectoris, these drugs are very, very useful. In fact, nowadays it became a common practice to start these medications in patients who are undertaking a coronary stent. So clopidogrel and ticlopidin are very, very uh, commonly used drugs in today's practice, especially in patients who are allergic to aspirin. Now let us talk a few minutes about adverse effects of ticlopidin. Among ticlopidin and uh, clopidogrel, ticlopidin has uh, more severe side effects like nausea or uh, dyspepsia and diarrhea. In as many as 20% of patients who are on ticlopidin, they get diarrhea. And also the most serious side effects, remember this, the most serious side effect with ticlopidin is leukopenia the reduction of white blood cell count. That's why in these patients, every three months, you need to monitor the WBC count in patients who are taking ticlopidin. And ticlopidin is also associated with uh, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. Many, many randomized clinical trials have shown this association. Thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, in fact, it's not a uh, big thing to imagine 
after all these medications are antiplatelet agents so they cause thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura both clopidogrel and ticlopidin now we have few things about uh, clopidogrel clopidogrel has fewer side effects than ticlopidin and it also rarely associated with uh, neutropenia uh, that's why no wonder most physicians they prefer clopidogrel because it does not cause neutropenia it does not cause that many side effects as uh, ticlopidin causes so clopidogrel the antithrombotic effects are dose dependent in fact within five hours you can see the antithrombotic effects of clopidogrel with a loading dose of 300 milligrams and the maintenance dose is like uh, 75 milligrams per day and the duration of uh, antiplatelet effect is like 7 to 10 days so that is the basic uh, mechanism about clopidogrel and ticlopidin hope you remember those points and uh, if you have any important points feel free to post them on our website that is uh, www.usmlevideos.net in fact we have uh, hundreds of videos already posted now ranging almost every subject you can imagine for step one step two and step three we also have um, videos on how to prepare for step one and uh, how to prepare for usmle clinical skills and uh, those of you who are preparing for match we have videos on how to prepare your application and personal statement and etc and etc so our website is uh, www.usmlevideos.net where we discuss usmla topics almost on a daily basis thank you have a good night